Hello everybody! Welcome back to Seeking Happy. I am Madi, and today we are going to be doing another plan with me in my classic happy planner. This is going to be a really simple plan with me, um, hopefully quick, because I've been planning more in my daily planner and in my Finch app, um, which is like a self-care app that has a, a big presence for your like to-do list like your mental to-do list. Um, so this has become more of back planning for me. And so I don't need it as structured. I just don't need the same things I needed from it before. But I want it as like a, a backup planner um, after the fact of what's happened. So let me take these pages off. Okay, so I have pulled these stickers um, to use with it, mainly this sticker here. There've, there have definitely been times when I've picked just one sticker that I want to feature and built the spread off of just displaying that one sticker. Um, that's pretty much what I'm doing this time, except I pulled a couple of components that I felt like went with it. And then I also brought out a couple of sticker books. These are from the Dollar Tree that I felt like could coordinate also. So I thought, let's go ahead and take all of those and see what we can put together. So, I definitely want this one in here, and I'm really thinking that she's probably just going to be there setting the mood of the planner. Let's see how she looks. I do like her in the center, though. <laughs> Not going to lie. Let's go ahead and start with our border, then. So, I have, let's see, let me just show you the other ones I pulled. This rainbow, this cake, this little anxious girl, <laughs> this little cookie, this other rainbow with a cloud, and then these three little, like, background. They're just honestly backgrounds from um, Pinterest. They're, like, supposed to be for your phone. But I'm going to use them for this. And this is one of the things that I've really started liking to do, is to build corners with these scenes. Now, she does go with this one really wonderfully for the color and the mood that one I think is my first out and then this one the colors go great again the mood goes great but I feel like this one's sweeter so I'm actually going to start with this one I think that's so I want to put them in the corners there but I feel like that's a bit much and that maybe half of it will be enough so I'm going to cut it in half and by the way, I know I am close, and I'm gonna I'm gonna rip across here, so we'll have two pieces for corners. Um, I know I'm like really close to the planner spread. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I just um, filmed the Finch planner spread. That that's not right. Let's try to make that a little smoother. Um, in which I got further up to try to help with like the. Um, focus in the videos as well as just like giving you guys a better view and stuff but you were able to see like the side off of the desk here like the tripod in the shot so I'm contemplating what's best and they're both I'm filming them both back to back so once I see it back and then if you have any um like opinions, feel free to share. If you have any um, advice on how to work around those issues, feel free to share in the comments. I would love to get some advice. Especially if it's like DIY advice, because I know what I need is like a tripod that will stand above my workspace, but I'm obviously trying not to spend money. Um especially on something that's quote, quote, unnecessary. Whoa, how does, let me, let me focus with this guy. <laughs> Let's turn it upside down so I can see better. And now that this is on the page, I'm already loving the colors. It does have that little corner also, so let me just rip that. And now let's get this in the actual corner. There we go, that's better. Okay, perfect. And then I can also see, oh, I just realized I could also put these in the opposite corner now if I want. And I can also put them like 
in other spaces, but I don't really know where I'd want to put them. I might do that with this and like build some, yeah, I think I like that. <laughs> do I want to put more? I think I'm going to save it because I feel like I could use that again. So that being said, let's see if I want to do like a, I wouldn't use the whole thing again, I think, but let's pretend that's half and let's see if I want to use it as a background for my unicorn. I really love the way she looks when paired with it. Do I like it at the side? Well, no, because it's right next to that one. Maybe there, and then I could put like a label on top of it and put a quote. I actually really like the way that looks, so let's let that sit there for a minute, and let's see what else we have. So I have this little anxious girl one. Should I put it with the cake? I definitely want to put it with something to highlight it. Maybe this little cookie, this little heart cookie. Just like pretending it's sweet, but it's not really sweet. <laughs> um, then I have my two rainbows. This rainbow I really only wanted if I was going to put it on, building on something else, like, like a box. I could do it on a text box. Um, now that I have them down, I feel like that animation is just too different. So, oh, I could just have it like, based on building on the line there. I like it better there. Okay, I'm liking that spacing. Let's leave those there for a second and let's see what we have in here. And actually I bet I have some kind of box maybe that I could layer here for writing on. So let's see. Oh, I like that. Um, I don't have my little sheet where I put what I'm gonna use, but I don't wanna forget about it because I do that sometimes, so. I'm scared I need to stick these down, but I'm just not feeling ready yet. So let me move this to the side. I'm sorry if you can't see it. And I'm just going to pull the stickers that I think I'm going to use. I hope you can see the colors. It has colors, but it's very like sweet and pastel. Okay, so let's see what else we might use. I love this special day, but to my knowledge, I don't have any special days in this week. <laughs> so let's get that. There's like glue. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Uh, this one has a lot of yellow, I mean, gold um, touches, but I don't really like the gold. I like that to do, yeah, that goes a lot. So I think let's go ahead and pull that. We'll find a spot for it. Probably sidebar. Well, maybe not, actually. Maybe right there with our rainbow. Let's set it to the side for now. That shopping list is really cute, but I am not usually shopping <gasps> look at these little flags they are so cute they have little stars on them arguably one of these might go better but no I think that brings out like the purple that's in these and there's I think there's gonna be a lot of empty page which will be white space on this spread so I think we could do that <gasps> I actually love this enjoy that's a title that I would use but this week, because it's back planning and it's just about over right now, it's Friday. Um, that making a note of that would be kind of a waste in this week because the week is pretty much past. So let's save that for a different time when I can use it. This page is all the gold ones that I don't like. But there are some, like this Life is Fun. That one's not gold, it's just black and white. Whoa, just realize girls are the future with no E. I that's crazy I hate that there's always follow your heart which is like the right shape for this and it just has a little bit of gold accents that doesn't bother me that much this is like what I don't really like it's just especially not for a spread this like dreamy um let's see what else we have a couple more boxes a couple more titles hearts those could be cute to pull in if we need for a little extra color and a few more labels. I don't see anything here that jumps out on me. Okay, let's go ahead and scan the second book we have here, which is a unicorn book. So, should have some. Those balloons are actually really cute and they are purple, so maybe we'll drop a couple in there. We have another rainbow. The little stars are kind of cute, but I don't think we're gonna need the, the yellow. Oh look, here's some labels. But they're very square, so I think if I cut this down, 
then I can use it, which I'm, I'm liking. And I never use these, so I think I am going to do that. Okay. I've got a couple here. This actually is Payday. And I never use these stickers because I make my own Payday stickers that kind of work functionally better. So this is the perfect opportunity to pop in that one. It's just like a little bit of sweeter colors, a little more um, like a larger graphic, so it takes up more of the box, which I have to spare. Now, if I wanted to incorporate gold, this one would be perfect because it's the purple that I want with the gold frame, but I don't think I want to do that. And I have a couple more boxes. Those are a little bit of different colors. I like those gems. I love this cloud, but what am I going to do with one? I need a lot more of them. Maybe I might want to just draw in clouds based on that. That one is really pretty too. Again, if I want the gold in there, that one would be really perfect. So let's set this to the side so I can reference it and I'll decide what I want to do with it. Okay. So these are the stickers I have pulled. What I'm thinking is I like the layout here and then I just need to cut this one down to a little more than half to fit that. So let me go ahead and get these in place. Let me pause you. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I'm setting these down and my last one is my unicorn and there's no sticky. I was like struggling with peeling this and I keep trying to peel like more and more. There's no sticky. It's not there. So, <laughs> have you guys ever had that happen? What I'm doing is I'm just going to take that off. I'm going to bring in my glue. Oh my gosh, that doesn't even want to stick because it's like... Look! Oh no! <laughs> and now it's like all messed up. Like, am I even going to be able to use this? Can I use it? In... Oh no, this is bad. Oh my gosh, and then it and then it ended. Wow, okay. Okay, I have like a little bit of stickiness on there. Okay, and now this is attached to me and I have stickers everywhere. Pull it together. I am in distress here. Okay, I have a little bit of sticky, so I'm gonna put it on and then later after planning I'll go and get more double-sided tape um, from my work area and try to incorporate that but for now we're, we know it goes there okay so let's go ahead and stick on this little one I think I want it center so we can put something on there I really love that I am loving the way that looks um, I have my to-do list which I could put here or in the sidebar I actually like it like crooked like that and overlapping that corner wasn't that graceful anyway, so I could try to hide it. And yeah, I actually really like it there, so let's do it. Let's commit. Now I have my little heart, which I feel like would be a good like add-on to something. Maybe right there. What do y'all think? <laughs> Maybe right there. I don't want it to get lost. I think let me hold on to it because I'm probably going to draw and we'll see if I have a better place for it then. Okay, so I still have these, the heart and the little banners. Um, but I think let's put in some boxes, like some framework and see what we want to do. Okay, so I'm inspired by this cloud here. Not sure completely how I want to do it, but I want that. So let's go a little bit sketchy first, which is probably not good because it's going to show through the marker, but I need to figure out what I'm doing. So I want to make my own boxes, and what I'm thinking is they can be a cloud on the top. Let's have that one run over a little bit maybe on both sides. And I want them to be straight like that one because I like, I like the way that looked on the sticker. And then I want that to be the top of the box for the spread. And I could do them in like pink and blue. No, I mean purple. Purple and pink. So that they'll, I mean I could do it in those colors. but 
So I'm thinking I could do like another one here with just a little side cloud. Let it run behind and then do the same thing. And build a box this way. I think that looks really cute. I might bring in some bolder colors to just cover the pencils and allow me to build that the way I want. And then I want to um, balance it. So let me put something right about here on this side. And let's put a box coming down right there. Okay, I feel like you at least need three to bring in any like component so that it makes sense. So feeling like here, let's just do a little one. I don't want it to be so big like all the others. A little straight cloud and the ball. Okay, okay, let's try it and then I'll probably add some more clouds. Let's do that. Um, actually, yeah, let me do some clouds that are just on their own so that I bring in like that design without taking up like so much space and like I don't need so, so many boxes, but I want it to be like a layered look. Maybe right here. Kind of want this one like contained in the box, like a little border of the box. I think that looks cute. And I definitely feel like let's do from this. Ooh, I didn't realize that's like all in a row. So maybe let it go over. Just do one there, just barely on there. Okay, I like that. So I'm thinking let's do my light purple friction highlighter for the ones that are on their own and I should have erased that pencil but that's okay I kind of want to do it without shading them all the way I'm going to do that and then we'll see what we think maybe I'll add pink in there I'm not sure it's kind of hard because this is like a, a chiseled edge so it's kind of hard and it's kind of easier <laughs> And then this one over here. This is like the perfect match for the stickers I have down, I feel like. At least to me. Which is what counts, I guess. So yeah, now that I'm seeing it, I kind of... Let me start at least to get the framework down on these clouds in the same purple. Because this is a straight edge, it makes it really easy. So I'll start with this, and then I'm going to build it up in a darker purple, assuming I can find something that I feel like is okay. So let's try to find that. Give me one, one second. I think what I'm going to try, and this might be a fail, but you know, I don't know. I don't know until I do it, is I'm going to do a bolder pink. Um, I also realized there's a shadow now from my tripod, so I apologize about that. But let's go ahead and go in... Now this one bleeds through this paper. I already know that from other spreads. So I'm gonna try to do my strokes kind of quickly and minimally so that it doesn't have a lot of time to go in. And I can tell you right now, I don't really like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do another one because I don't want just one crazy one. <laughs> Oh gosh, should have done that lower, okay. And then instead of continuing with that, I'm going to switch modes and go to my pink highlighter and then bring that down in a lighter color so it'll be like a gradation and not like such a harsh, drastic difference. I'm leaving a little white in there so it mimics the purple and I'll see if I want to keep that in there or not. Now this one has a ton of pencil marks, so let me erase that really quick. And hopefully I'll still be able to see like where I put it. Oh, that was the only one left. Okay. So that one is like, kind of can't see, but that's okay. <laughs> like right there. 
And I feel like the white is too obvious in this, so I'm just gonna fill it in. The bleed through doesn't look so bad right now. Okay, um, this one. See, I like the way that one. When I only have one white one and I have one without an outline and now it stands out. Hmm. Let's take a second and I actually want to incorporate some pink into the boxes and we'll come back and see what we want to do. Not even necessarily the whole thing, but kind of like a highlight. I feel like that brings in more of that dimension. Definitely should have taken off the pencil marks of the boxes because they show like crazy. Um, but I feel like that's okay. Oops, my stickers are attacking me. Okay. I feel like I need to add the pink to that one because it just stands out too much. So, whoa, 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 what a time to go making mistakes actually maybe i'll bring that down into the boxes after all because of the heavy pencil marks just try to camouflage that a little bit yeah i don't mind it okay it kind of kind of evened out Ooh, i'm tempted to put i'm tempted to introduce more color i want to do either a darker purple so those stand out too or maybe a light blue. So let's start with the light blue because it's the more mild. Like where do I even want this? Okay. Oh, I got a blotch there. These are erasable though, so let's just erase that. Okay. Looks pretty good. Um, I think we need some stars. So let's start by putting in these banners because that'll give us some of them. I feel like we could use one there. It's a lot of empty space there. And we only have two. Let's put it right here. And I still have my pastel heart. But now I have boxes where I could incorporate it. I would have liked it there, but I have that cake there. Hmm. And now it's so busy here, honestly. Where do I put it? Could have a dry. I don't want to put it back on the page, honestly, because I already removed some of the stickiness from it. Let's put it here so we have the design kind of catty corner kind of closing in the ends of the page. Okay, I like that. Now let's add more stars. So I want them to show, so I'm going to use another um, scented marker, which, let's smell it. That smells delicious. <laughs> it smells like pineapple, I think. Um, because those are yellow, I'm just going to sketch in some more little yellow ones throughout. Now, last time I did these, I, did a, I went back with a pen outline. Not sure if I want to do that because this spread is so much softer. It doesn't really have as much of that like sketched out definitive look. So I think I'm going to keep them soft in here. And since that's a pretty bright yellow, I feel like that's a good amount of presence. Now I'm tempted to put in yellow boxes. Should I? Maybe a yellow frame. I want to do the yellow frame, and I really shouldn't because this is the marker that bleeds through, but if I just do it quickly, <laughs> then we'll see. And this is not an erasable one, so I can't mess up like last time. Ooh, I went right over that star and that star, so that kind of stunk. But I mean, I'm already committed, and I like it so far. So this side, I feel like it's always easier, easier for me to do my line straight if I do like both across and then turn and do both this way. And that star scared me out of putting it straight, but if I do it more, I'm going to run through the page. So I'm just going to forgive myself and move on. 
All right, cool, cool, cool. Now let's look and see if we need anything else. Oh, you know what we need? Words. We need a, a quote of some, oops, just dropped that mark. Um, we need a quote of some sort. Now, I can write one in or I can use a sticker. <gasps> look, I like this little smile sticker actually, and it's really pastel, so let's go ahead and take that. I could put it, I, don't, I still kind of want to put something there, but I don't like anything for that spot. So maybe up here at the top. I like it because it goes with that pink a little bit. So we'll do that. And then I do have this You're the Best. The only thing it matches is the payday. And it has that gold, which I've been avoiding through the whole thing. So I'm going to leave it off for now. I have this Let's Be Unicorns, and, it, you know, that's not a real inspirational phrase that I ever think to use, <laughs> but it fits in the spread, and it fits shape-wise, and I like the font, so let's actually just use it. And I think it's just going to go dead center, because it's going to be like... Oh, I like it over here, too, though. Actually, I like it. I feel like it fits better over here. So I want to put it there. And then of course this will have writing when I actually fill it out so there won't be so much empty space. But I'm still tempted to put something there. So let's see if we can find something still. I was looking through the cover. realized I didn't have to do that. I mean I could use this weekend but I don't. I think those are like bold. Like in Crayola terms those are like classic bold colors and I don't want that. <laughs> we could use an okay. Just, just okay. <laughs> Let's see. Those are all bright. I don't know why. There's a have fun that would match, but I don't really need a tiny little flag. If I need a big graphic, so. Let's see. Let's see. Look again at this one. I did like those today's, but again, that's pretty small. There's an awesome, which just matches, so if anything, I might do that. Let's see if there's something better. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is use this Life is Fun and I'm going to actually cut off the rainbow so that that edge ends more on the line, which I like better. And then I think that is it for this spread. It it was it's it's you know just something to fill it the page and actually I really like it. So I'm happy with it. You guys let me know what you think. All right, that's it. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe because I am trying to grow my channel right now. Thank you so much for watching and you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.